Hello everyone, welcome to Kill It With Fire. This is a spider killing simulation. More of a simulation in a goat simulator kind of vibe. This isn't some flight, Microsoft flight simulator or something like that. This is kind of a goofy uh, physics puzzle kind of game where you're just kind of solving rooms, you're finding things, and you're killing spiders. So right off the bat, spider warning. If you're arachnophobic, if you don't like the creepy crawly spiders, this game has them. We will be showing the arachnophobia mode a little bit later, so you can actually go in and turn off the spiders, spider effects, jump scares, creepy violins, stuff like that. And I will turn these on a little bit later. I'll put a tag in the description when that part starts so you can jump ahead if you want to. And um, I'll see if I can mention it here, if I can go back and, and add in the time uh, when it's all done, when it's all said and done. So let's just get in here. Um, I've played a little bit of this game. Um, it's not hard to figure out right from the start. So we're going to jump into domestic duties, which I have not done yet. So we're going to have a whole clean slate here, equipment to find, flavors objectives, batteries, etc, etc. Each level has an arachno gauntlet, which uh, is like, kill a whole bunch of spiders in a short amount of time. And we've got upgrades and stuff that we can equip. Uh, practical and stylish adds four additional slots to assign equipment. Awesome. And we've got a couple of pages. Spider Noir. She was a real man-eater with enough legs for a whole week, plus an extra Sunday. All right, uh, game game's very, very silly. Um, we're gonna take the spider. I really haven't unlocked too much of this stuff yet. I'm only on the third level, so let's jump in here. Looks like we're gonna be in the kitchen. So yeah, we we start out here and we have this objectives list. Kill jumping spiders. Uh oh, we're gonna have jumping spiders. So heads up. And yeah, so it's basically just, oh boy. Do we see this spider here on the wall? These guys are invisible. This should be fun. So we could just, we have this clipboard that we can use to just smack the spiders. But we also have a little bit of WD-40 and a uh, lighter. We have a Magnum revolver. We have this lightsaber, essentially, which um, I got when for completing the first level and finding all of the ornaments for the Christmas tree. Whoops, there's a battery in there. This batteries are just a collectible. Oh, that's some ammo for the Lighter, flamethrower. Can inspect. All right. Some bread. Spiders don't like bread. Yeah, so this was a uh, bonus for finding all of the ornaments and putting them on the Christmas tree. You can see the Christmas tree over there. Okay, there was a holiday update recently for this game. Whew. And it's still live, so if you play it now, you'll be able to unlock this too by finding all the ornaments in the first level. But yeah, so what we gotta do is we gotta search the so, and I got some more guns. I just got this double barrel shotgun. Oh, I always keep a battery in my microwave just in case I need to charge it up. I can hear the spiders. You can hear the spiders. They're like making weird, weird noises. One of the best ways 
I've found to just kind of deal with this game is to light everything on fire. Hence the name, I guess. So there was a spider in there. There's a spider in there. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, we opened the floodgates here. So yeah, here's a here's a bulb for the tree. And you can't get hurt by the way. They're, the spiders don't hurt you. Uh, they just kind of run around, skitter around and you got to follow them around uh, in order to kill them. Uh, so it's it's really a not a very challenging game by any means and it's not really that scary. I think it's just like the fact that they're spiders that uh can certainly throw some people off. Here's another bulb. Oops. It's also a little fiddly like this. Uh, that one goes there. And basically, we're just going to find these uh, this battery. We're going to kill spiders. So you see this door here has a four on it. That means I need to kill four spiders in order to unlock this, this door. There's another door over there that has a six on it. Oh, we got a frying pan. Oh, we got some bullets. That's where I keep my bullets. Yeah, so these red ones, these they burst into multiple... Multiples. Multiple spiders when they die. Cool thing about the... Lightsaber is... That it lights things on fire, which is very convenient. It's also got a cool sound, too. It sounds just like a lightsaber. Oop. Hmm, alright. Um, I guess it's time to go in here, huh? Got him. I heard one. What are these? Bouncy chocolate? What is this? Invisible ranch? I'm not totally sure what's going on here. Oh, they're eating it. Oh, so now we've got bait. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> this is actually pretty accurate. Oh, you can suck everything up. Oh, there's one there. And then this is kind of where this goes from here, right? You just kind of start sucking things up. Burning things. Going crazy. Ooh, we just not... Come on. You know, the best way to kill a spider. A magnum revolver. Oh. Alright. Got him. It's a real touch and go there for a second. What am I gonna do... Provide snacks. Feed cheese puffs to spiders. I might have screwed that up. It is possible to screw up objectives in this game and uh, not be able to complete them, but also not really that big of a deal. Oh boy, battery down there. All right, let's open this up. Oh boy, the garage. All right, let's see what the uh, what the arachnophobia mode looks like, shall we? Uh, let's go into settings, arachnophobia. 
I'm gonna turn it all off. Okay, so the creeping music did stop. Yeah, you pick up those papers and they give you side objectives. So now I've got clean the garage, take care of the barrels in the garage. Oh. <laughs> All right. Cleaned it. Oh, so the, the exit's unlocked. That means I can just complete this mission right now if I wanted to. And I'm gonna organize tools. Oh, so this is the gauntlet. Let me uh, fire that up so we could see some of these. Oh, I gotta complete some objectives. All right. Uh, organize tools. Return tools to the pegboard. Oh, there's one right there. Put... Oh, so it looks just like a... <laughs> looks just like a little black dot moving across the floor. Alright. Yeah, I mean this is this is what this game is. Um, like I said, it's it's got the spider killing stuff in it, but that's almost secondary to like some of these little puzzles. Um, boom! Oh, there's a Christmas tree ornament. Oh, little, that that guy got a little burnt. Uh, yeah, so it's like like I said, it's secondary to some of these um, other objectives where you're just kind of like trying to find some things and, and put them together. There are secret areas. I found a Sigma module. Just what I wanted. Oh, don't need that. Spade? Nope. I mean, I don't know. I'm running out of tools here. Hmm, there's one. Man, there's a lot. There's like a whole bunch of wrenches. Oh, here we go. There's another hammer. Oh, there's another light bulb for the tree. If I find out... So like I said, the first the level, um, I got that. I got the um, that lightsaber, and I haven't found all of them for another level yet, so I'm kind of wondering what you get for other ones. Here's another. Oh, oh, there's some pliers. Is this the last one? No, there's one more. I don't know if we'll find it. This is your maximum movement speed. Uh, I wish you could run. I don't think there's a run. If there is, I have not found the button for it, unfortunately. Oh, there's the hammer. All right. Cool. Does that mean I get access to this? Yes, it does. Gel and souls. Oh, I wonder if that makes me run faster. That'd be convenient. What do we got for objectives? We got provide snacks, feed cheese puffs to spiders. We got two question marks. Oh.
Smash dishes. Come on. This is just fun. Still a bunch of dishes. Oh, there's one. Why is that moving? Hmm, I don't like it. Why could I do it in the fridge? Clean the fridge, remove items from the fridge. 32 remaining. Jeez. I mean, you could say this is a little tedious. You don't have to do it. I could have left already. In fact, I just want to know what's in that tall, oops, tall chest in the garage. I don't know if I'll be able to get it though. More dishes. Oh, here we go. All right, so the only one I didn't do was the cheesy poofs. And I don't know, do I have those in my... Okay. I mean, I don't know if there are even any more spiders. There may not be. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Malt of Cocktails. Oh, boy. Oh, that's right. We have the uh, spider radar, right? Well, where the heck are you? I don't know. I ain't coming out to eat my cheesy poofs. Hmm. 
Hey, I really think there's some in here. I don't know. You know what they say. When in doubt, Moltov. Oh, provide snacks. Awesome. Oh, we did find some. Okay, let's do the Arachno Gauntlet. I have no idea what I'm doing. Guess it's working. Yeah, I did it. Awesome. <laughs> Just throwing, throwing multiple cocktails everywhere. Whatever. There's still a, an ornament I haven't found for the tree. Oh, there's another battery. There's also another battery I haven't found. Some of these, the last level had a secret room in it. I wonder if that's something that uh, they all have? I don't really see any telltale signs of a secret room though. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll call it. Uh, you guys can figure that out on your own if you wanna, if you wanna. Um, yeah, so we'll exit the garage. Now, I only needed 20 spiders, but I killed 38. <laughs> so, um, you know, you don't have to find all the spiders to progress in the game. But you do need to kind of search around in, um, in order to find all your upgrades and stuff like that. See, like, I, I missed the battery. No idea where it is. But I did complete the gauntlet. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, I think... Uh, major inconvenience. Get it? It's a convenience store. Nice. Very, very clever. Gel insoles. Reduces lower back pain and allows sprinting. Ah, so you can sprint. Um... Oh, oh, cost eight. Okay. Earn upgrade points by completing objectives during missions. All right. Mm. Yeah, let's go back. Oops. Definitely want that. Cargo shorts. It's four additional slots to assign equipment. This is everything. It's a lifestyle. Throws objects further. Right, let's do that. Uh, Sigma module displays the total number. Ooh, that's useful. All right, so yeah, there, there's things you upgrade. Um, there's equipment, weapons, and stuff. I wish I had found that last bulb so you could have seen what I got out of completing the Christmas tree. But there, like I said, that lightsaber I had, which is extremely useful, light stuff on fire, uh, was unlocked by solving the first level, finding all the bulbs for the Christmas tree. And yeah, it's just a silly little game. It's not, uh, it's, it's certainly not taking itself seriously. It has a lot of clever jokes. And just kind of wild physics burning everything, and you're eventually going to complete all the objectives kind of game. Um, and it does have the arachnophobia mode for 
our uh, less spider inclined folks out there. So yeah, that's Kill It With Fire. It's on Steam. Uh, the Christmas tree thing, that was a holiday update. I don't know if they plan to add more like uh, with different holidays and stuff like that. I'm not sure what their content plan is, but if you're in for just a kind of silly game like this and um, you don't are you are too afraid of spiders, you know, they're not that scary, but, you know, if you're even a little bit afraid of spiders, you might want to hold off on this one. But if you can handle it, there's some fun to be had. So, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to see more. Check out voxelvoice.com for all of our great content and consider supporting us on Patreon to keep our content ad-free and independent.